Hello everyone, my name is Isaac Yamamoto and today I am playing World of Warships. Or well, actually, um, I am going to be playing, but first of all I'd like to have a look uh, at the Summer Fest. And there's a whole article about that um, news article on the web page, uh, as well as of course in your news section. Um, you can read it out here. If we take a quick look, um, we can see you can get a special camouflage for the Atlanta Tier 7 American Cruiser, premium cruiser, as well as that you can obtain the König Albert and Vampire premium ships. Um, but the real uh, chunk of the uh, of this year's summer sale is that you can get all sorts of containers. Now, they are presented here um, and I'll basically just um, yeah, go over them in the armory rather than take this article. Uh, all of this uh, stuff, you can purchase this using summer tokens. So, other than previous years, you're not buying straight out um, Summer sale goods. Uh, you first have to get a uh, in between currency. Bit awkward in my opinion, but okay. Um, now, if we have a look at how we can obtain this currency, um, we can get a couple by doing some mission. You can get up to 15 by that, which really isn't a lot. Uh, you can purchase summer sale bundles. Uh, either just for tokens or uh, for things like doubloons, premium time, and then get tokens for free on top. And you can uh, yeah, purchase the daily bundles, those are basically the, um, just the token uh, bundles. And you can also buy the Atlanta um, in a special bundle, and if you buy the Atlanta, you will get some tokens. So all of these um, tokens, the stuff where you will get the tokens, uh, this is all presented here. You can also find it in the premium uh, shop. When you log in, you'll see all of the options available. Um, this is not all, uh, but in general, uh, if you click here, go to offers and you're logged in, then you'll see quite a bunch of options. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the uh, best options are. I'm not even going to tell you if you should uh, participate at all in, in this summer sale, if you spe should spend any money on this. Um, personally, um, I am really quite disappointed with uh, this year's summer sale as compared to previous summer sales. We've already seen the last two years that uh, the proper discounts on tier 7 and 8 ships uh, has pretty much gone out the door. Of course we did get the um, armory coupon to replace that sort of, um, but yeah, in general, um, a very underwhelming summer sale. Um, but there is a bit of a uh, side note that I can make to this. And in order to explain that fully, um, I will illustrate why I have actually spent some money on this um, and how you can make that work effectively. So, I will hop over to the armory now, um, and then we can see uh, the various options. Now, you may notice here that I don't have any of the summer tokens, uh, or hardly any, and that is, uh, I, I had a couple, but I've basically spent them already. Now, we have the various options here, we have the premium tier 8, Premium tier 7, tier 6, tier 5. And these are very good containers. If you look at these containers, they will give you guaranteed a premium ship. 100% drop chance. Uh, but the thing is, you don't know which one you're going to get. Um, unless you already have every single one of them. Um, except for one. 
If, for instance, I have every single tier 5 ship in this list except for the Vidibus Unitas, then that's the ship I'm going to get. If you have all, uh, then you are guaranteed to get some doubloons. Uh, I'm not sure if that pays off. Now, if you're looking for a very uh, specific ship, um, of course, one thing that you could do is uh, uh, an issue, of course, is say you're looking for a specific tier 8 ship, then there's quite a couple of different options. And if you want, for instance, the mines, but you have, um, yeah, y you don't have the Alabama, uh, you don't have the Massachusetts, you do have the Gascon. Uh, say say you you have roughly half of them. Uh, I don't know exactly how many there are, but it seems like roughly 20 options. And then there's maybe a 1 in 10 chance that you're actually going to have the mines, even though there's a 100% drop chance for some premium. Now you can get three of these tier 8 containers and um, three for the tier 7 as well, three for the tier 6. And 3 for the tier 5, uh, I don't think you'll be able to get uh, 3 for all of them, but unless you spend a ridiculous amount of money. Um, uh, but it can be an interesting option to, to take a, a, a guess at a, a premium, of course. Now there are a couple of other options, and those are the containers listed below here. So we've got Black Friday containers, Air Supply containers, uh, Santa's Big Gift. And the Santa's Big Gift is an interesting one, because um, this has a chance uh, for premium ships from a massive list. And now on one hand this is uh, a real drawback, since it... Um, provide you with an incredible amount of options uh, and there may be a lot of options that you might not like um, or options yeah, that you'd rather um, not have but there, are also, there also are a lot of very rare options the Belfast, Kutuzov, Enterprise, free ships that you can no longer buy the Cesar, Fujin, uh, Kamikaze, Gremyashi Nikolai, Missouri, all of these ships, uh, you can't buy them. Uh, actually, the the first list up until the Jean Bart here, um, you cannot get these ships uh, other than from super containers, these kind of containers. So if you do get lucky and pull a ship out of this, um, yeah, it can be pretty cool. Now, the chance for these to actually drop a ship is not that high. Um, you can get five of them though. However, um, if you are looking for one specific ship that is in a container uh, where there are less options, such as the Black Friday containers, do note that these are black ships. And you can get the Alaska B while you already have the Alaska, but okay. Um, then something interesting happens. And I am definitely, and I want to make this very, very clear, I'm not going to uh, say that you should uh, go out and try this for yourself uh, if you are in a similar situation. I just want to explain uh, the mechanic behind it. Um, and you should decide for yourself whether you think it is interesting or not. I personally think that it is generally not worth your money. But, as you can see here, I have actually bought uh, the five available air supply premium containers. Now, why did I do that? If we look here, um, what these containers can drop, then there's a chance to drop a premium ship with the chance for the aircraft carrier Kaga, Graf Zeppelin, Saibon or Enterprise. Now, I already have the Kaga, Graf Zeppelin and Saibon and I would love to have the Enterprise. Um, and this is quite a bit of a long shot and therefore I would really not quite recommend to try this. 
but um, the interesting thing here is if a premium ship drops, even if uh, the Kaga, Graf Zeppelin or Saipan would drop, it would be replaced, and that's basically what the section here says, would automatically be replaced with the Enterprise. Now the Enterprise is currently not for sale anymore, so there's no other way uh, to get it other than from a container in some way. Um, so yeah, I basically decided, okay, you know what, uh, let's go for it. These containers cost 20 um, tokens per piece. In total, that would, um, if you just buy the tokens straight out, uh, that would amount to 17 euros. Um, and I thought, well, for 17 euros, I could take a gamble on it. I ended up doing that a bit more differently, but okay. Um, that's not the point. Um, so, I already had... Um, oh, this isn't going as planned. I already had the Kaga, Saipan and Enterprise. And then when you... Um, click through them a bit too quickly. And then when you um, get these air supply containers because there's only the option to get the Enterprise, you may get lucky, and if you have the luck that I did, then you'll find that you might actually end up with an Enterprise. Now, I want to stress this once again. Um, you are basically gambling for this to happen. On one hand, uh, in this particular scenario, if you already have the other carriers, you know for certain that if you pull a ship out of those crates, uh, it is going to be the Enterprise. You can uh, deduce this. But uh, you are never guaranteed to get a ship. I would highly recommend that if you try this, that you uh, open at least three containers in one go. Uh, so don't try it with uh, one single container five times over, but really do commit. Um, but there is no guarantee whatsoever that you will uh, get a ship out of this. So yeah um, keep that in mind if you will be interested uh, in yeah in one of these ships and uh, especially you have to keep in mind that um, well if you're thinking okay I'd like to see the California but you only have half of the ships in the list in these tier 7 premium containers um, then the chances of actually getting the California are very slim. So you should only do this if there's only one option. Um, and even then, um, if you're doing it through the premium containers, then it's a guaranteed uh, premium ship containers. Then it's of course guaranteed that ship. If you're doing it through any of the other containers, so uh, the Black Friday, the Lunar New Year, or air supply, or whatever, you are effectively buying a chance um, at a premium ship, and there's no guarantee whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, I got pretty lucky with it. I got myself the Enterprise, and I'm really happy with that because. Well, as I said, there's no other way to get this, um, and I'm quite a fan of aircraft carriers. Um, this video really is only meant to explain how you can uh, make use of uh, this container mechanic. But, once again, I do want to stress uh, there is no guarantee whatsoever um, in, in the normal containers that you will get a ship. So, um, yeah, it's it's all up to, um, yeah, up to your own choice. Um, I would actually reasonably advise against taking the approach that I did. 
uh, unless of course uh, if you have all of the tier fives here listed as i said except for the variables unitas and you still want that ship then it might be quite a valid option um so yeah that's my take on the summer fest pretty much crap um i'm honestly quite disappointed you can theoretically get some interesting stuff out of it but the number of crates is all limited to five for the random crates uh, so when people would really want to spend a lot of money on it uh, they'd struggle with that anyway so yeah it's nothing too spectacular really in my opinion um, no discounts on premium ships directly um, really mediocre summer sale in my opinion uh, I've already complained about it last year as well uh, where the steam got an amazing summer sale and our uh, well uh, the regular wargaming side uh, of warships uh, got pretty much nothing um, yeah, and I think they should up their game there a little. Um, but for myself, yeah, I got a pretty decent result here um, with uh, spending uh, relatively little money and uh, getting myself an enterprise. So I'm fairly happy with that. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think uh, if you're going to make use out of it. I actually hope uh, that most of you won't. Um, and uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I will definitely uh, post a video on the enterprise uh, somewhere soon to uh, see what I think of that ship. But from uh, what I've tested so far, it uh, seems promising. So. Uh, I'll keep you updated. See you all around.